Welcome back. We are continuing to track Tropical Storm Ian, and we want to answer some questions that I think the viewers have for you guys. We brought in both of our meteorologists who are here with us tonight. Tony, we're going to start with you, and I think something that people are taking note of is in the latest track we see Tropical Storm Ian drop from a 4 to a 2 before it ever hits land. We usually see it strengthen in warm water. What's going on there? Well, you know, the viewers don't notice, but Michelle is actually one of the first people to run over and say, what's going on there? <laughs> but let's, let's take a look at that cone right now. I want to show you one thing that, uh, that we have here for you. You can see Michelle's talking about that 4 to a 2, and there's a very good reason for it. It's not anything to do with the warm waters. It has to do with what's going on with the environment north of there. There's a very powerful cold front uh, that's going to be going going by just to the north and the east. And what that tends to do is steer things, the Europeans closer to the coast, as Alex was just alluding to. But more importantly, as that energy with that front drops southward, it creates a lot of wind shear. And so we think as it gets to Tampa Bay and north of there, Michelle, that this is going to start to weaken. Okay, so that's actually a little bit of a good thing for them. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so Alex, let's talk to you. If they were with us yesterday, the viewers, they were hearing us say we're going to start feeling the impacts of the storm Tuesday. Now mm -hmm. it seems more like Wednesday. What really changed with this storm and what should our timeline look like now? Well, it looks like uh, things started to slow down just a little bit more there. So because of that, the timeline for getting stuff prepared, uh, take a look at the graphic here. Again, today the confidence on the track five days out it's still uh, almost 200 miles spread there so the confidence is still low this is when you just want to keep in mind get that plan started in your mind on Sunday if we're still in the cone that's when you start taking a look at your hurricane kit get those preparations done make sure that the hurricane you have your food your water get those batteries taken care of on Monday if we're still in the cone that's when you get outside start draining the pool start getting the stuff tied down bring in the outdoor furniture so it's not flying around by Tuesday that's when you need to have your preps done because those winds are in. Last question is for Tony. Someone wants to know when you guys show these comparisons between the American and the European models, which predictions have you found to be the most accurate in previous storms? Well, the European computer model run by the Europeans is on a little bit better model. They have a higher resolution. The, the output uh, is, is much better than the GFS. Now, the GFS did just get a very big upgrade here recently, so it is performing a little bit better. And we've seen with the comparison that uh, we've been showing that both of the models speed wise are about at the same latitude and longitude. Just just that the, the Europeans a little bit closer to us, and that's one of the things we'll be ironing out. Okay. Yeah. I know we have more questions for you, and so do our viewers. So tonight at 8 o'clock, join Chief Meteorologist Tony Minolfi. He will be live on Facebook, where he will answer more of your questions and have an update on the latest advisory for Tropical Storm Ian. Stay with us. We'll be right back.